Funa nyizibo, otukirize chikambo chochewe ya ma Ola bintu justice, ebeira o Teba yinza kuchusa mula muzi Mumba kwetu, nga atuse kugamanti Mule tobu juli zoguruma alani Mule tobu juli zoguruma sewa jirinya Omula muzi debamu jau na osirika Osirise mumbele tate gerekeka Well, well, well My name is Melad Milo aka Fula And this is The Buzz UG This morning, I'm coming to you with the biggest stories Making headlines in the country but don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Now, first of all, before I take you through the stories I have for you right now on the Buzz UG, I want to shed more light on this picture that has been circulating on social media. Well, I want to confirm that the person who is in the left corner of that picture right there is not the late Eria Kategaya, as it has been saturated on social media, but that is Major Sam Kavuma. This is a clear picture now. I think now you can see him very clearly. That is Major Sam Kavuma. He's very alive. You can even Google if you really want to confirm the face right there. I think now the argument should be about something else, maybe the masks, or maybe when did this event take place, but not particularly about the person in the left corner right there, because it's now very clear that is Major Sam Kavuma standing next to former CDF General Mohosi. Unless you still want to prove that is late area Kategaya, then you can take on the argument. <music> Well, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, is back in studio with the string mocking band and the biggest artist down in Ukraine. Bobby Wine says, This time around, we should forget about the missiles and the military tanks, but they are deploying the most potent weapon for the universal freedom, and that is music. Bobby Wine says, This sound of freedom will be out very soon, and of course, we can't wait to listen to this one. Dr. Stella Nyanzi, who has been in Germany for many months now, over the weekend was involved in an accident that happened in Kenya where she had come for a road poetry trip. Well, she had friends and fellow writers when the accident happened. Stella Nyanzi and her colleagues were headed to Nakuru when the vehicle they were traveling in crashed into another one. Stella Nyanzi, however, confirmed that no life was lost in this particular accident. We thank God for that. It should be remembered that Dr. Stella Nyanzi and her family ran away from Uganda claiming that her life was in danger. <music> Meanwhile, there is a trending video on different social media platforms and Jeno Salim Saleh is heard saying if he decides to pick interest in having Fred Kajubi Lumbia back in Uganda, he can do it even if it means having him in the country today or tomorrow, he can do it. But I think he hasn't picked interest in bringing him back to Uganda. According to reports, this video was recorded last Friday at the giveaway ceremony of his daughter, Esteri. But Fred Kajubi Lumbuye says this is a long time video. Otherwise, Jeno Salim Saleh is not there. They are just fooling us. The man died long time on the 19th last month, according to Fred Kajubi Lumbuye. Now, the situation is getting so hard for us to understand what's going on. I mean, who is telling the truth and whom should we believe? Anyway, I think Jeno Salim Saleh should just arrange for an interview on one of the local TV channels and talk to us about maybe Operation Wealth Creation and we watch him live. <laughs> I think that's when our hearts will calm down. Anyway, this story is still on and I just feel like more episodes on this story are coming up and definitely I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. <laughs> Uh, former Speaker of Parliament and current First Deputy Prime Minister Horrible Alitwala Kadaga attended the last day of the Nyegenyege Festival where she showcased her dust moves right there. In fact, Kadaga was one of the leaders who opposed the group led by the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, which wanted to block the festival, saying it was a hub of immorality. 
Kadaga pulled off dust moves that left people showering her with praises. They even promised to give her their votes in the 2026 general elections. Kadaga, without mentioning names, described those seeking to block Nyegenyege festival as enemies of Busoga economic progress. <music> Now, yesterday, there was a special mass at St. Agnes Catholic Church in Chibuye, and this mass was dedicated to Honorable Muhammad Segrinya and Alan Sewanyana, who are still in prison. Now, Lord Mayor Arias Lukwago reminded Honorable Nobat Mao the commitment he made in assuring that these members of parliament attain justice. <laughs> wala ira no tukane mu parliament naye kuvalo wala ira situla banga uchitambula twalo bufuna nyizibwa otukirize chikambo choche we ya ma ola bintu justice ebera wote bayinza kuchusa mulamuzi mu banku etu ngatuse kugama nti muleto obujulizo buluma alan muleto obujulizo buluma se wa sejirenya omulamuzi de babujjawo no sirika busirise mu mbere tategerekeka NUP Secretary General Luis Rubonkoya talked about the abductions going on in different parts of the country right now Echiwamba abantu chikomyeo era ne wano machinde juzi ba kwato mwana ne bamuwambira wano machinde ne bamtwala mukwata chipaza amazi mukwata mukuchere tugende tule ku chikwa wali wangu bi masake chito sumerewe nda kumwenda ba ala ni bape mukomera echisi ba sejirinya echisi ba ala ni sewanya si mateka echiba siba pia ufuzi kubanga amateka ga mata emirundi esaka well, that's the latest update I got for you right now on the Buzz UG. And in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. And of course, remember, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.